food, where does it come from? Class 6 Science Look at them. They are Chinu and Munu. Their mother is making fish curry and rice. Chinu and Munu like to eat fish curry and rice with vegetable salad. Identify the food group each of them belongs to from the list given. Rice is cereals. Fish curry belongs to the meat food group. And salad involves vegetables and fruits. We get our food from both plants and animals. Thus, plants parts and animal products are our main sources of food. Let us first learn about food from plants. Green plants prepare their own food. They use light, air, carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll to prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis. Different plant parts serve as sources of food for us. Fruits, vegetables, cereals, and pulses that we eat are obtained from different parts of a plant. Roots We eat roots of plants such as carrot, radish, turnip, sweet potato, and beetroot. Stems of certain plants are eaten by us. For example, the stem of sugar cane plant is eaten and is also used to make sugar. The stem and flower of the banana plant is cooked and eaten in different parts of India. Certain plants have underground stems that we eat, such as potato and ginger. Leaves of plants such as lettuce, spinach, cabbage, and fenugreek, or meti, are eaten by us. We also eat flowers of plants such as cauliflower, broccoli, and banana. Pulses, such as mung bean, kidney bean, chickpea, as well as cereals, such as wheat, maize, and rice, which are seeds of plants. Wheat grains are ground to make flour, out of which we make chapatis. We also use the seeds of certain plants such as cumin, coriander, pepper, and cardamom as spices, to add flavor to our food. Plants also provide us with fruits and vegetables. Apple, banana, and mango are common fruits. There are other fruits, such as brinjal and tomato, which are eaten either cooked or raw, and are termed as vegetables. Now, let us learn about the food we get from animals. Animal products such as meat, egg, honey, milk, cheese, butter, and curd, are eaten by human beings. People commonly eat the meat of animals such as goat, chicken, fish, and prawns. Hen's egg, is the most common bird egg, that we eat. But, many people eat the eggs of goose and ducks. Egg is rich in proteins and vitamins. Honey is a sweet liquid made by bees from the nectar of flowers. Honey is collected from beehives. It is used in cooking, and also has medicinal values. Milk is obtained from animals such as cows, buffalo, camel, and goat. It is very nutritious food item, and is rich source of protein. Milk contains calcium that is required for proper growth of teeth and bones. 
products made from milk are known as dairy products. Let us learn about some dairy products. First is paneer, or cottage cheese. Paneer can be made by adding lemon juice, or vinegar to hot milk. This process is called, curdling. This results in the separation of milk into solid, and liquid part. After removing liquid part, we get the solid which is paneer. Cheese It is made from the curdled milk of cow, goat, sheep or buffalo. The cream is made by collecting the top fatty layer of milk. Butter is made by churning fresh cream. Ghee is made by gently heating butter and removing the solid matter. Curd Common methods of making curd include adding a small sample of curd in warm milk. The microorganisms or bacteria present in the curd sample turn the milk into curd. Unlike green plants, animals cannot make their own food. They depend on plants or other animals for food. Let us see what do animals eat. Different animals have different eating habits. Based on their feeding habits, animals can be divided into three groups. Herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivorous animals or herbivores eat only plants and plant products. Cows, deer, horses, giraffes, squirrels, and butterflies are examples of herbivores. Herbivores such as cow, horse, and goat have wide, blunt teeth. Such teeth are suitable for pulling plants off the ground and grinding them. Cow and goat have the ability to bring back previously swallowed food to the mouth for chewing it the second time. Squirrels have a pair of broad, sharp-edged front teeth. Incisors in each jaw. They use these teeth to gnaw food items such as nuts. Insects such as butterflies do not need to worry about chewing their food. They have mouth parts shaped like a straw to suck nectar from flowers. Carnivorous animals or carnivores eat only the flesh of other animals. Lion, Tiger, Jackal, Owl, Eagle, Snake, and Spider are examples of carnivores. Lion and Tiger have sharp and pointed front teeth, canines. They also have sharp claws and powerful jaws which help them tear flesh. Carnivorous birds such as eagle and hawk have curves, pointed beaks that allow them to tear flesh. Carnivores such as chameleon and frog have a long sticky tongue that they use to catch insects. Shark has several small, sharp teeth that help them bite off chunks of flesh. And snakes swallow their prey whole. Omnivores Omnivorous or omnivores are those that eat both plants and the flesh of other animals. Bear Raccoon Crow And human beings are examples of omnivores. Omnivores such as bears and human beings have different types of teeth that help them to eat both plants and flesh of other animals. Omnivores birds such as crow, has sharp and pointed beak that help them to eat a variety of food. Instead of hunting live animals, some birds and animals eat the flesh of other animals that are already dead. Vulture is one such bird. These animals are called scavengers. Some organisms feed on and degrade or decompose dead plants and animals. Fungi and bacteria are examples of such organisms. 
these organisms are called decomposers. Together with scavengers, decomposers play a very important role in nature. Without these, our planet would be covered with dead plants and animals. Summary Different plants such as root, stem, leaf, flower and fruit serve as sources of food. Animal products such as meat, egg, honey, milk, curd, cheese, butter, and ghee are eaten by human beings. Herbivores have wide blunt teeth that help them to grind and chew plants. Carnivores have sharp teeth and claws, which help them to tear flesh. Omnivores have different types of teeth that help them to eat both plants and animals. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.